approval investment in India. I'm on the negation side of this for a few reasons. To begin, according to Obama, India has too risky of a market to invest in right now. Obama says, I quote, in too many sectors, such as retail, India limits or prohibits the foreign investment that is necessary for India to continue to grow. For months now, India has been facing politi political gridlock. Multinational corporations have been waiting to end their policies. Local billionaire Lakshmi Vital blamed the government for condemning billions to poverty over land rights and environmental disputes. India's government has blamed the state where the steel mill is supposed to be built for these problems. Tommy Milan states, your administration has made the correct judgment that the rise of India and its increasing role and influence in the international system don't benefit U.S. interests. She wrote this in a letter to Barack Obama confer confirming his doubts in investing in India. Another example of policy barriers is the fact that foreign companies cannot own multi-brand retail in India. For example, Walmart has been trying consistently to enter the Indian market for a long time now, yet it has made no progress. Furthermore, Obama noted that the Indian economy continues to grow at a quick rate, but it will have to wait until the U.S. can firmly invest in it. Moreover, India has asked U.S. multiple times not to invest in many of their projects. If they had already requested us to not do it in a few of their projects, why should we be encouraging companies to invest in them? According to Margaret, many investors will flock to India right now for safety. But there is no reliability of the outcomes. There is no guarantee that the investors will benefit themselves. Although, also there are many other economic factors that we need to consider. For example, the road system is so dreadful that even if they began producing effectively, they might not be able to get the goods to the market or back to the port for export. In conclusion, Senators, I urge you to vote in the negative side of this resolution. Thank you, and I'm now open to questions. That speech by Senator Verma was 2 minutes 23 seconds. Questions? Senator Pinjala? Um, can't Obama be biased about this? Yes, that is a very good point. But what about all the other people who have written letters to him or the billionaires that claim themselves that we should not invest in them? Or the plain facts about how India's economy is not as good for and won't benefit the U.S. as much? Any other question? Senator Kizon? As of January 2012, multi-brand retail can now own 51% of a company. Um, P.O., can you ask him to restate the question? Closer? And that's what she's saying, you're supporting her point. Okay, go ahead. Um, that's the camera, that's the camera. No? Yes. As of January 2012, multi-brand uh, multi Multi-brand retail stores can now own 51%. You said that they do not own multi-brand. What do you have to say about this? No, I have to say exactly what you are saying. You're supporting my point. Okay, Sandra, okay, Sandra you're saying that uh, Walmart is one case where there was no multi-brand retail allowed, but there are other opportunities, just like Hyundai has been doing really well, the car, Korean car company. So why should we not invest because of one strategy in retail? Yes, that is a very good point. This was just one example. I'm not saying that we have to limit it just because of Walmart, but there are multiple facts saying that we shouldn't invest in it because of how risky the market is right now. And U.S. won't benefit as much as India will. Question, Senator Singh? Senator, you... That's I don't need to trip on the Senator, you stated that India is a is a risky market, but isn't there risk in every investment? Yes, but at the time, India will benefit more than the U.S. itself, and this could create another China. Do we really need that right now? All right, thank you, Senator.